My hallmates and my best friends who I lived with in my hall, they basically threw me what we would call a super secret hallway party. We would abbreviate it into a shippa. And we would all sit in the hallway and they made me brownie cake and we just you know, laughed and talked about our memories. And it was like the best birthday ever after a really, really difficult start to the term. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, for sure. I think when she passed last year, that was personally um, really difficult for me. You know, she became Supreme Court Justice the year I was born. I never knew a world where she wasn't Supreme Court Justice. Do the right thing, Spike Lee. I think it really has all the interdisciplinary approaches to analyzing society and history that I value. So I would love every student to watch that and to talk about it with me. There's never like this one time where you do have everything figured out. Sometimes you just don't know what's gonna happen or you don't know the right answer, but it's kind of figuring it out as you go and keeping perspective as you're learning. When I was a student at Andover and Barack Obama was elected for his first term, it was the first time I really cried for something happening that wasn't necessarily my own pain or my own joy. It was very much the first time I felt like something historical was impacting me in a way that like, I just felt a moment was really profound. My favorite food at Pereski Commons has to be the pizza um, made fresh in the, in the wood-fired oven. Um, but sometimes when we're really lucky, we get cedar plank salmon that they cook also in that wood-fired oven. And that's probably the most delicious thing I've ever had. It's gonna be the same word that I would use to describe my Andover experience the first time around, which is transformative.